Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates and all that doesn't. I hope you're having a good day as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna get Vegas in this little outfit. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let me get him changed on here while we wait for daddy to come. So Gabby can't open up her gifts. But, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, I've had some fun with him. So I decided to put him on this little outfit. And y'all gonna laugh, I'm sure. But it says born in 2018, and I know this is 2021. But I think maybe his kit came out in 2018. I don't know, but, but guess what? We are family. I guess, you know, he was supposed to be born in 2018. <laughs> so we gonna celebrate it anyway. It was just red and white. I was like, uh, first thing I seen, I'm like, and I don't have to cover him up as much. So let me see. Let me see what y'all can see before my battery go completely out. Uh, there we go. See, he had on a cloth diaper. That's my man, man. I love him. This, this, this is the best dream for me. Is to be able to have painted my own, my own boy. <laughs> I wanted to be able to have my own painted by me. And, yep, guys, he is just like Phoebe. He will not leave my side. Yep, I have, um, I don't, I don't care who come. I don't care who go. Look at his old feet. Don't you want a feet? <laughs> I don't care who come, who goes. This is one of the ones that I will keep. Yep. You know, I wish, I was hoping at one point that uh, that Bonnie Brown was going to do silicone. I thought she was kind of thinking about it a little bit, but she ended up not, nothing haven't came out as of yet. But I was just hoping, I was like, oh my gosh, if Bonnie Brown ever do silicone, I'll probably go crazy. But the truth is, I have been more into my reborns than anything lately. Um, that's even with painting and everything. I've just been loving my reborns. I think it'll always be a place for for both mediums, but that's just where I've been lately. He's just been it's so say but I love this little boy and he is silicona. <laughs> Yep, so oh, I am after the holidays. I will be shipping out two different babies to get rooted. One is a custom, and one is a um, baby that I will probably sell after uh, after rooting. Yep, but I I just want to start getting some babies rooted and getting some babies so I sold my prototype Aspen um so I will be packing him to meet his mommy he has a special mommy so I'm excited about that I can't say who it is just yet not just yet not just yet <laughs> but anyway um yeah so and I got me some more silicone in so I can finish working on my other customs. And um, so I'm excited about that because I was like ready to paint. I'm like, I want to paint, I want to paint, I want to paint, I want to paint. And hadn't been able to paint because I ran out of supplies. So right after all my guests leave, I will be um, back to painting. And I'll be really excited about that. And then I'm going to finish up 
Vegas, which is, this is Vegas. I'm going to finish him up. You know, all his little touch-ups and stuff like that. And then I'm going to um, start rooting him. So I can get him rooted. I, I need to finish winter rooting, but I'll get to it. And then we'll see hardwood hair finally. And that will be that. But yeah, my collection is going to look very different in 2022. Um, expecting another baby. And, you know, I think my collection is going into a very different direction, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to have a mixture of babies that's painted by me and babies that's painted by other artists. Um, some, some very exquisite artists that I really, really like their work. Um, I will be having their work in my collection, but, um... So I, I'll be showing both, but I, I'm really, like I said, I'm really, really excited, excited, excited about um, my, the way my, the direction of my collection um, is going. This, this little boy is just amazing. He's, I don't know, he came out different than I expected, but, but better. I didn't. Um, I didn't know how he was going to turn out <laughs> and I'm excited about it. I really am. Um, I can't wait till he get like fully, fully finished and he gets his hair and stuff and I can really, really take a lot of photos of him. But if you guys are not following me on, um, Instagram, my Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Um, I post babies there. I put babies up for sale there. Um, now I've been using my stories to um post babies for sale so that's pretty cool because i think some people have actually been seeing the babies up for sale when they normally don't because of the stories so i've been using that um as well um but yeah so i'm i'm hoping to get some baby so the other baby the new baby that i just got the cheyenne that one is still available for 850 dollars and um lily grace is still available for now um she may not be available um come 2022 um i will be getting her rooted though um if she's not sold before um, I decide to get her rooted. She will be one that I'll just keep, maybe. But yeah, because I got a lot of stuff, like I said, in the making that you guys have not seen and stuff for my personal collection. I'm kind of focusing a lot on my personal collection, this, um, you know, a little bit. But as I switch in and switch out, that's how that's going to go. Um... I'm going to probably end up selling Charlotte, believe it or not, but I'll keep Memphis. Um, I have another baby that I'm thinking is going to replace Charlotte. And I may, I probably will keep Charlotte's name, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't, to be honest, I'm just going with the flow. You know, if I feel like selling them that morning, I sell them. If I don't, I don't. Um, so, yeah. A lot, a lot, lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, hard decisions, hard choices. I don't know how you guys do it with, you know, what babies you guys keep. Or what you, some people don't have to sell their collection, and that's great. Some people actually keep all their babies; they never sell. And I, I, I admire you guys like so much. Uh, for me, especially lately, because the cost of reborns on the level that I like to collect have gone up so much until I just, I can't, I cannot, um, I, I can't afford to, um, I can't, I can't afford to, uh, just keep all the babies. Sorry, I got distracted. I was looking at something in the background, but yeah, so yeah, I I really 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 think that 
um, I'll probably always have to buy and sell, especially at the rate that things are going. Um, I right now reborns on the level that I like to collect the reborns. Prices have not been under two grand. So that is, you know, pretty expensive. Um, the average cost for like the well-known um, big time artist is like 25, three, 25 to three, three grand. That's for reborns and um, they are, um, they go up all the way up to 10 grand and better depending on the size of the baby and stuff and or what which artist it is so um the the reborns have gotten really expensive now and i know a lot of people are like oh you don't have to spend that you can get a nice baby just blah, 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 blah. and that's that, that's fine and dandy i do understand that i mean i myself don't sell at that price range but I know that there are babies that you can get for, I see babies that's fully rooted for $650, you know, but they're just not my cup of tea. Um, well, nothing wrong with them. I do think they're still pretty. I, you know, I, I love them in, you know, everybody else collection and stuff like that. But um, there are certain things that I like. And then there's also sometimes if I feel like I could paint it myself and tweak it a little bit more to my liking than why even buy that just painted myself, right? So the babies that I go after are babies that I'm like, oh, I don't think I could do that style or have that effect. I want this one, you know, type deal. So that's, that's how I get myself in trouble, to be honest. <laughs> that's how I get myself in trouble. Um, but... You know, I have found some good, some good buys and stuff like that. I have, so far, haven't been disappointed in you know the money that I have spent on my collection. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. You know, it was it's so funny because a couple years back I was I was like buying silicones like crazy, and they were very very pricey. Um, and, uh, but now I, I've, I've, you know, changed and I realized that too, like I'll buy, you know, maybe a silicone baby kit, you know, periodically or whatever, but I realized that I was able to really like explore more, you know, artist work and, um, have more fun and more variety in my collection when I stop just like going after the like most expensive you know silicone babies that that really um allowed me to see more and I got to see more kits and more of what's out there and it kind of it really really has helped me grow you know as a painter and also you know as a collector and know that there's other sculpts that I really love. Um, and I've been enjoying a lot of different faces and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Um, like I said, there I have a few kits in here that I don't really think is absolutely cute. But I like the sculpting. Um, and I'm going to still paint them. Because I'm not like turned off by them to where I can't paint them. But... I am finding I do like the cuter little, you know, expressive babies. So um my my collecting style is changing a little bit too. And then, you know, one how one just defines cute or <laughs> expressive may vary from individuals so what I think is cute you may not think is cute and what you think is cute I may not think it's cute so when I say that it's just based off of my opinion but that's you know that's a bit about me and how I collect there are some people some collectors out here that I absolutely love their collecting style I love it I love it they pick out the most exquisite unique babies and I love the way they style them and 
all that stuff. So it's just so much to this hobby that's so fun. Like I love the way certain people role play with their babies. I love the way certain people trust their babies. And so um, when I'm not, you know, all consumed with my own self and my my work, I'm out here admiring other people's work and other people's collection. So it, it's it's been a great year. Um, despite everything, it's been a great year. Um, so I don't know if this will be my last video for the year. I doubt it because I think I'm going to do a box opening Monday, Tuesday, I don't know, probably Monday. Um, but if I don't, I'll, I will be sharing my next baby with you guys. I won't keep that baby a secret. Um, I haven't shared every baby that I've collected, but I will share that one. Um, and like I said before, if you guys let me know what babies you guys want to see. And then uh, probably like two weeks into January, I'll go ahead and do a um, a new video updated of the babies that's in my collection. Because I'm my goal is to be have sold every baby that I'm not going to keep for 2022 by February that may be a challenge by the end of February. So by spring, I plan to have, start just building my new collection. And that's that. Um, so this, again, is a long video. I just want to say thank you again to everybody. And just know that I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys supporting me. I appreciate all the encouragement and kind words. Um, I wish you guys all the best. I hope that you guys find some comfort in the next few days. And be safe. Be safe. Enjoy your babies. Don't let nobody tell you that you should not be enjoying this hobby. Because it is the best hobby ever. Um, and we will, we will go from there.